Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a very warm welcome here to Campo de Golf Via Martin. My name's Simon Foster, and this is one of the episodes of Big Size Secrets, where I'm going to be explaining some of my advice, my tips, my 20 plus years knowledge of golf here on the Costa Blanca to yourselves. And hopefully, it will improve your experience and improve some of your golf when you're out on the fairways. Fingers crossed. Villa Martin is a course that back in 1994 hosted the Tour España Open Mediterraneo, which can, was competed by 26 Spaniards, one of which came out victorious, none other than Jose Maria Olazaral, and was also played by numerous members of the current Sky Sports Golf team. I shall leave that with you guys to work out who's got bragging rights and who maybe have missed the cut. Anyway, we're going to head off to the first tee where, again, I'm going to give you some advice, my tips, my knowledge of this wonderful golf course, hopefully the lines to hit it off the tee. I can't guarantee you'll hit it there, but I can guarantee that I'll be giving you the correct information on where to hit it. And guys, when you're playing golf on the Costa Blanca, under these blue skies, in this sunshine, don't forget, make sure you enjoy every shot. Keep a smile on your face and go and have fun. We'll see you on the first tee. I'm going to head there right now. Catch you in a bit. Before I go on about the first tee shot that you've got, again, just remember all my videos I do using a sort of goalpost method. So you've got your right side, your left side. That's your visualization. Try and hit it through there. So I can advise you where to hit it. I can't hit it for you. So fingers crossed. Make sure you enjoy yourself. And also here, big size secret, they do operate the red, yellow, and white flag distances for your approach shots to the green. So red flag being the short, white flag being at the back of the green. Right, let's get on with it. Giraffe is coming out. You're gonna see Giraffe quite a lot, being six foot six. Not sure why I have the nickname of Giraffe, but anyway. So the first, very, very good par five, but it's quite a tricky driving shot. You don't see your fairway, so again, get a really good line. And the ideal line here is kind of up the path, through the drop curb is a really good, good line. You've got more room to the right of the fairway, but again, you've got those two big overhanging pine trees, pine trees that you don't want to hit. So try and again, hit it straight up the middle. First tee nerves will be happening, but again, make sure you embrace that, enjoy it. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about getting nervous. It's just completely natural. So pick a good line. And again, see that shot and try and execute it. Oh, that was sailing up the path. That'll get us underway. Have a great round, guys. See you in a bit. Hi, guys. Down here on the second hole at Villa Martin. Fairly, fairly straightforward par four. Slight dog leg left to right. You've got a great visualization here. You've got two cops of trees, one to the left, one to the right, and you've got a gap in the middle of those. Hit the gap. If you can get in that gap, that is absolutely perfect. You may not necessarily need to hit your driver. Any shot of about 180 to 200 meters, you know, around about sort of 200 to 220 yards, would be absolutely perfect. So, middle of the gap, get a good alignment, and then we'll uh, see where we can go from there. Straight down the middle. Hi guys, here we are down on the third hole at Via Martin. So this is tricky par four, plays quite a bit uphill and you don't possibly see your landing zone. Your ideal line is the canopy of trees on the horizon on top of the hill. You've got a big canopy to the left, then a little dip and then the second canopy. If you can find the middle is absolutely perfect. For the longer hitters out there, be brave, you can hit it at the left hand canopy of trees. There's more room to your left than you see off the, tree, off the tee. So as you can see, I teared up on the right hand side, hopefully open that left side of the fairway a little bit more, and then just commit to it. Oof, didn't leave much of that behind. That a play, let's go. Hi guys, here we are down on the fourth hole at the beautiful Via Martin. 
fairly straightforward par four, but again, you've got to be careful that you get your ball down as far as that first tree if you can. That's 215 meters, 236 yards. We've just zapped that with the bush nil. Again, that allows you to have a sort of uninhibited second shot, even if you lose it to the right. Stay away from the left. You've got a load, load of trouble down there. So aiming at that tree is not a bad idea. I'm in in three iron, you can hear the wind's picking up a little bit, so anywhere in this fairway. Straight at that tree, that'll be fine, we'll have a second shot to the green from there. Be back in a minute. Here we are guys, the fifth hole, your first par five at Villa Martin. Quite an uphill, slightly dog leg to the left hole here, but again you've got a wonderful goal post off the tee, you've got the tree just to the right of the rock and then you've got your first green canopy tree on the right hand side so that is your goal post if you can knock it through driver giraffe's coming out he's in play so give it a good one try and hit it through there and it will open up your second stroke index two so a lot of you will have shots here really commit to that line and send one up there It's a goal. Hi guys, here we are down on the sixth hole at Villa Martin. A lovely par three this is, the first on the front nine. It's brilliant, reminds me of perhaps being back in the UK. A very sheltered tee, could quite easily be up. Woburn, Hankley Common, North Hants even. Fantastic. Again, need to make sure you fly the front bunker here. So we measured it on the bush deal, you've got about 165 yards, 150 meters. To carry that front bunker, everything then releases down to a sort of two-tier green. Don't get distracted by the beautiful view of the Mediterranean in the background. Again, get a good line. You sometimes don't feel the wind down here. And then see if you can make your birdie. Hi guys, big side down here on the seventh tee at Villa Martin. Bit of a risk reward hole for any of you longer hitters. You can perhaps take on the aggressive line, which is going over the third and the fourth pine tree to the right. For us mere mortals, let's keep in the fairway. We want to again be left of the first tree, the first pine tree. That's at 200 meters, so 220 yards, but you've got to be left of that. We can even go as far left as the copse of trees on the horizon. So which is in the left hand corner of the fairway that really does open up your second shot looking down towards the seventh green so that you run out to about 210 meters so 230 yards give or take so again big size secret use the whole tee box up here on the right hand side certainly if you're aiming left open up that side of the fairway that's a good layup there we go to work with our second, see if we can get it close on seven. Hi right, guys, here we are down at the eighth hole. Again, very similar to the third in the fact that you can't see your landing area over the top of the hill here. But again, let's get a good line. You've got on the horizon, the sort of Everest type tree that kind of goes up to a nice peak there. And that is absolutely perfect. Keeps you left of the bunker up in the fairway. Take the giraffe out, let's open the shoulders. A bit more room left than you expect so if anything edge on the side of safety a little bit more to the left but let's give it a big rip with that driver cutting back and that should be left side of the fairway see you in a bit here we are down on your last par three for the front nine the ninth itself Again, feels a very benign hole down here. Depends on what tee you play from. Tee on the right lower down can be a little bit more difficult with the overhanging tree branches, so just be careful on that. We've lasered it with the bush nil. 150 meters it's playing, 165 yards. And again, this green, fairly flat. It's quite a long green, so try and get a good number to the flag. Pick the wind, tends to blow off the left on this. So uh, yeah, really try and take advantage of your short irons and uh, Dial one in there and finish the front line. Certainly with a birdie putt. 
Hi guys, here we are starting the back nine at the lovely 10th here at Via Martin. It's quite a tough hole, so you need to be very accurate off the tee. Just lasered the last pine tree with the bush nil, which is 194 metres. That equates to 213 yards. So we really need to hit it that distance, because what that would do will give us a better chance with our second shot, even if we happen to be a little bit left, to have a shot at the green without the branches in the way. So I like to aim pretty much at that three, try and hit a little fade to the right. And again, another big size secrets on this tee, you've got a bit more room to the right. So tee up on the left hand side, it opens it up a little bit nicer for you. But again, nice straight shot at that pine tree will do. That's right at it. Hi guys, here we are down on the 11th tee, the first of the par fives on your back nine. 445 metres, so it's not a particularly long one. Great line, seven aerials in the horizon. If you can hit it on the right hand, one of those aerials, that's absolutely perfect. It'll give you the best line for your second shot that you want to hit right of that pine tree in the middle of the fairway. So those seven aerials, tee it high, you can make an aggressive swing here and really try and send a bomb at those seven aerials and give yourself a chance. May have a chance in getting up in two on that one. Hi guys, here we are down on the 12th tee, stroke index three, so one of the third hardest hole here at Villa Martin. One thing I see with a lot of players over my time here is alignment on the 12th tee. The tee points almost to the right hand bunker to the right hand trees. So really focus on getting a good line off the tee. Don't follow the tee line. You want to be aiming at the left hand green side bunkers, the two up the left, and even going to touch left of that will still work for you. Keep it away from the right hand side. You've got a bunker there and the trees on the right that are no good. So keep it down the left plays a lot into the prevailing wind normally, which makes this 380 meter par four a bit tougher. So driver today, down the left at those two left hand green side bunkers. That'll play, left rough, but it's a good line in from there. Hi guys, here we are down on the 13th tee, the first of the par three here on the back nine. We've got Don Antonio's house behind this lovely bank of bushes here. The founder of this golf course sadly left us a few years ago. And again, this is a one where the wind is a little bit difficult. Think what it was on the 12th tee, often feels a lot sheltered down here and you don't feel it. Plays about seven degrees down slope, so that's converting to about 10, 12 meters. So really get a good, good yardage, good distance to the middle of the green. Anywhere on the middle of the green is good here. You don't want to be long. You've got bunker left, two bunkers right. So really try and commit to your line and make a good swing. So anywhere middle of the green will work here. Putting for birdie. That can't be too bad. Hi guys, here we are down at the stroke index one hole. The beautiful 14th here at Via Martin. Toughest hole on the course, but it's your second and third shots that's gonna cause most problem. Off the tee, you've got 200 meters to the bunker on the right, so we wanna try and keep it out there. Like you can see, I've done here, tee the ball up on the right hand side, opens up the fairway in the left. There's a little bit more than the eye can see, so give yourself that possibility to see more to the left of the fairway. Great lines at those four pine trees at the bridge, just short of the ravine, short of the green. So take the driver out. We need to get this far down as we possibly can. Give our good chance of a layup. So guys, you've hit two great shots here on 14, but you've got the big pine trees in front of you. I've seen a lot of this over the years. People going for that shot, it's very difficult. Use your game management a little bit. You'll have a shot on this hole. Why not think of going left of the trees? I know it seems a little bit defensive, but once you get up onto that fairway plateau, you're past the trees and you've got no trouble. So maybe you go left, hit a shot of like 80 meters. That's perfect. It's past the trees, past all the danger. You'll have a shot on this hole. Go and get up and down from there. Hi guys, here we are down on the 15th tee. A more straightforward par four, but keep your concentration. You can always come unstuck. 
You want to hit it about 200 meters off the tee if you can, so that's 220 yards. The ideal line is left of the bunker, left of that tree. So probably green side bunker is a good line. Those two palm trees is perfect. So anything of about 200 meters is fine. I've got driving iron here, but again, keep your concentration, get it off the tee. That's in play, short iron to the green. So let's try and recoup one of our shots. Hi guys, here we are down on the 16th tee. Three from home, so stay up for the fight and let's get into the clubhouse with some good swings. Tough hole plays a lot of the time into the prevailing wind, but we've got a perfect goal post here. We've got the two trees on the right, the trunk going off to the right about 45 degrees, and we've got the first tree of the cops on the left-hand side. That will take you with inside the bunker on the left edge of the fairway. So try and knock it between that goal post. Driver's probably the play here because you want to get it as far down as possible. So Giraffe's coming out, maybe for the last time today. So let's really concentrate, try and make some good swings and get it into the clubhouse. Straight between that goal post if we can. Just hung on, out of play. Hi guys, here we are down at the last par three at the beautiful Campo de Golf Via Martin, the famous 17th, and what a view that waits you. If you have a chance, get yourselves up here to the white tees, take a couple of photos, maybe a couple of selfies, put them on social media, enjoy this hole. But again, back to the work, make sure you club up. See a lot of people here, just not to get enough club. You can take probably hit it 20, 30 yards further than the middle of the green and you're still not going to be off the back of the green. So bear that in mind. Always club up. Tough hole from back here. Pin on the left. If it's on the left, try and miss to the left. If it's on the right, try and miss to the right. That's on the green. Not my Sunday best. But let's try and two part that and get out of here. So ladies and gents, boys and girls, here we are down on the 18th tee at the beautiful Campo de Golf Via Martin, your last hole. Par four, slight dog leg right to left. Again, the bigger hitters of you, you can take an aggressive line close to these trees, but your ideal line is the palm tree in the horizon at the front of the golf course. So on the horizon of trees, there's a palm tree, you can't miss it. Hit it there, take your driver out and just go after one. You've got plenty of room to the left. Shorter hitters, you want to be straight down the avenue of trees, the olive trees there, which again will give you probably about 150 meters or so maximum into the green. So again, last hole, real good commitment here. And again, try and leave it down there on the fairway and set yourself up for a grandstand finish. That is right at that palm tree. Let her play. So 127 meters for our final approach. We've just measured it with the bush mill. So again, clubhouse behind us there. Don't get distracted with your final shot. The bar's looking down. You're thinking of that refreshment afterwards. Again, good clip here. You've got the three olive trees right behind the 18th green. The middle one is bang on line for the middle of the green. So take aim there. Execute a good swing and try and finish on a good note. Hi guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we finally arrived here at the beautiful 19th hole at the restaurant de Villa Martin, the gardens of Villa Martin. You can understand why with the beautiful 18th overlook there. So come and get your cold beers, nice selection of tapas, lovely menu, some sangria, and anyway, hope, oh, look at that by chance, muchas gracias. Again, I hope this episode of Big Size Secrets helped you out on your experience here today at Villa Martin, and I hope you have a great time when you come golfing here on the Costa Blanca. You can catch me and follow me on social media, Simon Foster Golf, or on my website, www.simonfostergolf.com. I look forward to hearing your likes, your comments below, and if you want to see me film at any preferred choice of golf course here on the Costa Blanca, then please get in touch. I hope you have a great golfing experience here at Villa Martin and look forward to hearing from you in the near future. 
But from me, Big Sai, and everyone here at Villa Martin, un salut y fuerza el canut.